to create a quarter fraction, I think the Microsoft Excel is probably the easiest tool you can use. You may have access to Minitab, SAS, SPSS. However, in this particular situation, if you are designing the experiments, um, just to create a quarter fraction, the best tool would be the Microsoft Excel. And of course, when we collect the data, usually we use the Microsoft Excel. So that makes even more sense to do it. Now, simply uh, to do a quarter fraction, we need two defining relations. Uh, to know more about this, you can visit theopeneducator.com. I have the full video series on this. However, in this video, so let's say we want to create D. Um, so we have three. Um, this is the basic design using the three factors. Now we want to create the factor D out of the combination of these three. So we are using two defining relation here, ABD and BCE. And then we can simply separate D from uh, that defining relation ABD, which is A times B. So simply, I've uh, just created it to test it. Simply you can multiply this uh, A times B. That will produce the D uh, like that. We actually, I just tested it. So here we are going to create the E uh, out of that defining relation BCE. So that is basically the combination of, of BC or you can say interaction of BC. So B times uh, C. So that is the quarter fraction. This is how you create the quarter fraction in Excel. And you can use it for any number of any type of defining relation. Um, however, it has to be this minus one plus one coding system. Like in traditional textbook, they will they use plus minus coding system, which I think not really that convenient if you have ac access to Excel. Um,